guys, Mary Ann, the Frugal Chef. Hey, why don't we brace some short beef ribs? Uh, these are great for nice, crisp fall nights or winter nights. You know, great comfort food. They're not expensive. They're very delicious. So let me show you how to make these. Look how meaty these short beef ribs are. They're, they have a lot of meat, okay? So I'm gonna be preparing a big quantity of them because I have a bunch of people for dinner. But I would suggest that you calculate about two per person when you're making these, okay? If your uh, short beef ribs have this tough membrane on top of them, go ahead and, and you know tear it off, okay? You don't want that. It, that's really hard to chew and you don't want that in your meat, in your, in your braids, okay? So I just wanted to show you that. Just, you know, very put don't don't get don't waste meat, you know, just get rid of that membrane. Also, if you have excess fat, you know, go ahead and cut it off. I heated some olive oil in this bracing pan and I'm going to brown my meat one piece at a time. I just want to show you, I seasoned it with salt and pepper and I sprinkled a little bit of flour on top, okay? I'm gonna work in batches because I don't want to crowd the pan. So this will take a little while until I'm done, okay? So I'll be back to you when everything is brown. Check out these ribs, they are so delish. They're nice and brown. So, of course, I have all the rest ready and um, in a bowl on the side here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna take out the excess oil from this pan. I'm gonna leave about two, maybe three tablespoons, and I'm, then I'm gonna start browning two onions, okay? So let me do that, I'll be right back. I'm gonna add two medium onions, they're yellow onions that I chopped. You know, if you're wondering if my pot changed from the beginning of the video, it did. <laughs> I went ahead and, and I got my bigger bracing pan. Um, I'm making enough Better. I'm making enough braced, uh, short ribs here for eight people, okay? So if you have a, you know, if you want to cook for four, just go ahead and use half of everything here. All right, I'm scraping my brown bits from the bottom of my pan here, and I do not want to lose those. Those are really, really, really good. So I'm going to let these onions cook for about six, seven minutes until they're nice and translucent and then we'll uh, continue um, adding our ingredients to this. All right, now I'm gonna add six garlic cloves that I'm just gonna pass through my garlic press. And mix that well. Let it cook for a minute. We can smell it. Okay, very nice. Now I'm gonna add three celery stalks that I uh, finely chopped, okay? I'm also gonna add six medium carrots. All right, now I'm gonna let these vegetables cook for about five minutes before we return the beef to this and, uh, and the spices, okay? All right, so this has been cooking for about three or four minutes. I'm gonna add some chopped parsley to this. I have about two heaping tablespoons, okay? I'm gonna mix that well and let this cook for another couple minutes. All right, guys, so I'm adding a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes to this. Okay, so this is cooked for a couple minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the beef back into my pot, okay? I'm gonna arrange those really nicely. Put them in meat side down. You know, if I have leftovers tonight, this, it, it's wonderful the next day. It's one of those meals that are great when they're left over, but it also freezes very nicely. So if I have leftovers, I'll decide if I want to freeze them or we'll eat them for lunch tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to return also the juice, you know, of the yeah, any, all the rendered juice that was in the bowl with the beef. Now I'm gonna add some red wine to this. 
going to put in about half a bottle of wine in here. And I'm going to add eight ounces of uh, eight ounces of low salt uh, chicken broth. Okay. I'm also going to put in here about five sprigs of sage. I'm just going to put them on the side like this, and I have about five sprigs of thyme. Okay. Just put that on top like that. I'm going to season this with salt and pepper. Okay. Give it a little mix so that the liquids all mix well in there. Okay. So I have an oven that's preheating at 350 degrees, okay? I'm going to bring this to a boil, I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to put the pot in the oven. And I'm going to braise these in the oven for about two, maybe two and a half hours, and then we'll serve dinner, okay? Check out these ribs. They are amazingly delish. They are so, so, so tender. Look at that. I don't even need a fork. I don't want to destroy them. I don't want to take them off the bone because I want to serve them with some creamy polenta on the side of the plate. All right, I'm going to go ahead and scoop out all this excess fat I have here because I do not want to serve that, okay? Look at that. I took out a whole bowl of, of fat from here. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so we'll put that aside. I'm going to mix this now. And I'm going to serve this uh, on top of the meat. I scooped out the meat and the carrots. Okay, so now let me show you how I'm going to plate this. I'm going to warm it up so it's nice and warm. And uh, we will have dinner. There you go, my friends. Braced short beef ribs from thefrugalchef.com. Come on by and visit us. Remember, we have hundreds of recipes that are not in video form. Bon appetit! And eat well without going broke. I will see you soon.